Hello viewers, in this video we are going to see about basic knowledge of site engineer. A few general points to remember for civil site engineers to make the construction work easier while maintaining quality of construction. So we are going to see the site engineers much know things. The first one is the one way slab. The one way slab is designed when the ratio of longer span to shorter span is equal to or greater than 2. The main reinforcement is provided for only one direction in one way slab. The one way slab is transferring loads for one direction. The next is two way slab. The two way slab is designed when the ratio of longer span to shorter span is equal or less than 2. Thus, L divided by B less than or equal to 2. The main reinforcement is provided in both directions in two way slabs. So, the loads are transferred in both the directions. The minimum thickness of slab is 125 mm because of the thickness is important for while construction in slab. The comprehensive strength of the brick is 3.5 Newton per mm square. This is very useful for civil site engineer because of the civil site engineer is calculating the quantity of bricks is required in some walls. So, this compressive strength that time is used for very much. And what is the maximum free fall of concrete is 1.5 meter. It's a must. Foundation is important for building constructions. Therefore, the earthwork excavation for basements above 3 meters should be step to form. Because of above 3 meter, it's making for sliding. So, that is the reason for basement should be step form. The column is transferred for the loads. So, the electrical conduit should not run in the columns. The dimension tolerance of for cubes plus or minus 2 mm because of the cube test is very important for concrete. In soil filling, as per the IS code, Every 100 square meter, we need to take for 3 samples for core cutting test because of the soil testing is important for the foundation book. So, we need to check the soil. So, every 100 square meter, 3 samples for taken core cutting test. In column, lapping is provided for connecting the two reinforcements. But it is not allowed for bars having diameters more than 36 mm. Minimum bars of square column is 4 numbers and 6 numbers for circular column. This is for minimum bars required in the column construction. The samples for fresh concrete shall be taken at least 6 cubes. Each 3 cubes tested by 7 days, 14 days and 28 days shall be tested in compressive strength. Because of the concrete cubes are tested for compressive strength. After that, it is submitted for the engineer approval. The results are unsatisfactory, necessary, unsatisfactory rectification, remedial measures have to be exercised. While pouring the concrete, the slump test is important. So, when the slump test is taken, lightly reinforcement is 25 to 75 mm. The results are we record and heavily reinforcement 75 to 100 mm slump is record. The curing race is must be important for concrete. So sulfur sulfate cement concrete is needs to 7 days curing. Ordinary Portland cement OPC is required to 10 days curing. Minerals and admixtures are that content cement is required for 14 days curing. A set of two tests shall be carried out for each 30 cubic meter of concrete or each level of casting or each passing of cement. The pH value of water should not less than the 6 because of pH value important for the water. Some salt water are having so it is depends on the water. 